welcome back. Today I'll be giving you a rundown on the painting machine from Ender.io. So if I quickly show you how to get hold of the machine. To get the painting machine, you will need three electronic steel ingots, two quartz, one diamond, industrial machine case, and two infinity bimetal gears. To get hold of the conduit facing, you will need eight conduit blender. So, what you wanna do first is place the painting machine down and make sure you provide it with power. So if you're tired of having your base look crap from having wires running left, right and centre, here's a cool way you can fix it. If we go into the painting machine, what you're going to do first is make sure you provide it with a basic capacitor or any capacitor. And there it will chug away and fill it up. Rightio, now that's done, what you're going to want to do is, well, I'm going to place some black wool in here, because that's what I want it painted. And now grab your conduit faces you've made. And booyah, we now have a covering for our wires. So I'm sending loads of wood over there. Okay, so next if we place it over just like so. Makes it look nice. Oh crap. And snazzy. All fits in. Now another thing you can do with the painter machine, if you don't want your glowstone to just look like this, make it look like maybe part of the tunnel, if you're for a mine say, if we put some glowstone in here, and now some stone in there, let that chug away, and booyah, now we have a painted glowstone. And if we head into our tunnel, instead of using this crappy torch, what we could do is smash that out, and there you go, it will emit light just like glowstone. How cool is that? And you can go away and start mining your gold and coal. And whatever, maybe you might find some diamond. So there are two cool things about this painting machine. You can make invisible pressure plates as well, which I think is fantastic. And with these things, you can turn it into stairs, fences. They can cover up loads of stuff that you don't see. And now if we quickly hover over the Yeti wrench, there you go, everything becomes visible so you can see where it is. Just some notes to note about the painting machine. It will need a capacitor for it to work. Any capacitor you like, basic to advance, whatever one you want. So if you make a dark pressure plate with quite clear glass, it will be invisible, just like this thing over here. How cool is that? That would be a great way to trick your friends. Ha, you're falling down the hole. And the difference between a basic and hardened conduit facing is that the hardened one just takes longer to break, while the basic one's easier. And one quick thing I will show you, if you're unsure of any recipes, you can click the show recipes with all Ender IO machines. You see it has the configure button, so we can do the exact same we did on the battery bank. Pull, push, so that would be the output. And you can turn the redstone mode to whatever suits your need. So I hope that has helped you in learning and understanding this machine. Until next time, sit tight.